Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Today I'm going to read the story of the three little pigs. Let's get started. The three little pigs. By Paul Galdon. Once upon a time, there was an old sow with three little pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them to seek their fortune. There's a mama one, she sent them away. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, please man, give me that straw to build me a house. So the man did and the little pig built his house with it. The first pig built a house with straw. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Oh, he did it. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he <gasps> blew the house down and he ate up the first little pig. Oh, no. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks and said, please man, give me those sticks to build me a house. See, the first one built it with straw, this one's building it with sticks. So the man did and the little pig built his house with them. Then along came the wolf and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. Uh-oh, not again. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Uh-oh, piggy. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, please man, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the man did. The little pig built a house with them. Look, that one looks stronger than the sticks and the straw. Soon, the same wolf came along and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Look at him reading his book. He's not worried. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed but he could not blow that house down. At last, the wolf stopped huffing and puffing and said, little pig, I know where there's a nice field of turnips. Where, said the little pig. On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I'll come for you tomorrow morning. We'll go together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. What time will you come? Oh, at six o'clock, said the wolf. Uh-oh, he looks sneaky. While the little pig got up at five, he went to Mr. Smith's farm and got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. See the turnips in his basket. Little pig, are you ready? Asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready. I have been and come back again and I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. The wolf was very angry, but then he thought of another way to get the little pig. So he said, little pig, I know where there's a nice apple tree. Where, said the pig, down at Merry Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning and we will get some apples. He had another idea to get him. Well, the little pig got up at four o'clock and went out for apples. He wanted to get back home before the wolf came. But it was a long way to Mary Garden. And then he had to climb the tree just as he was climbing back down with a basket full of apples. <gasps> he saw the wolf coming. Look at him stuck up in the tree. Little pig, the wolf said, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? Yes, very, said the little pig. I will throw one down and he throw one down to you. And he threw the apple as far as he could throw. But the wolf ran to pick it up, the apple, pick up the apple, the little pig jumped down and ran. The next day, the wolf came again and said to the pig, little pig, there is a fair at Shanklin this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come in to get me? At three, said the wolf. 
We plan to go to the fair. Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a butter churn at the fair. He was ready. <clears throat> he was going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. The churn fell over and rolled down the hill with the little pig in it and frightened the wolf so much that he turned around and ran home. Uh-oh, do you see him running away? Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him what had happened. A great round thing came rolling down the hill right at me, the wolf said. Aha, I frightened you then, said the little pig. I went to the fair and bought a butter churn. When I saw you, I got in it and rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I'm going to climb down your chimney and eat you up, he said. Oh my goodness, what a silly wolf. He hung a pot full of water in the fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig took the cover off the pot and the wolf fell in. <gasps> Ouch. The little pig quickly put him in the pot and covered him up. And the little pig lived happily ever after. The end. Have a great week, you guys.